So today I'm gonna show you a quick workout that you can do at home, and all you need is your body weight, a small area to work out in, and a jug of water. Hey everybody, I am Natalie Russell. I am the owner of Fit For Mom Richmond. Um, I'm also an instructor for Fit For Mom Richmond, and we offer uh, programs to suit all stages of motherhood, from our prenatal Fit For Baby classes, to stroller strides, stroller bar, body back, and body back transformation. And um, a lot of times moms ask me, what can I do at home? You know, I'm struggling to get out of the house, Motherhood has the better of me right now, and I just need to get my body moving. I can't quite make it to class yet, or maybe I am coming to class, but I want a little extra something to do at home. So, I always tell people, all you need is 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be um, this huge, daunting task to work out. Just moving your body for 10 minutes at home can make such a big difference and make you feel so much better. This workout is a rounds style workout. We're gonna do 45 seconds of cardio, 45 seconds of strength, and 45 seconds of core. Um, in our body back classes, most of the time we do a minute of each, um, but for just for time's sake today, we're gonna do 45 seconds, so it's up to you. If you wanted to do this for 30 seconds each because you're just getting started, that's better than nothing. So set a timer and get yourself a water jug and you're gonna join along with me. So we're gonna get ready for our first cardio. Placing that water jug on the floor, we're gonna get our body moving by just tapping the top of the water jug. Remembering, you've set your timer for 45 seconds. I'm not really gonna use a timer right now. I'm just gonna get you going. Make sure you get the idea of what the movement is and then you can carry on from there. So tapping for a lower intensity option. If you want higher intensity, you can take it up to a tap. Right there, being careful not to knock that water bottle over. That's it, arms are moving. And we're getting that heart rate up. You may start to feel a bit breathless, and that's great. Remember, you've always got the option right here, should you need it. Excellent. So you're in that move for 45 seconds, ladies, or a minute, depending on how long you set that timer for. After you finish, you're gonna take a 15 second break and get yourself ready for strength. Again, grabbing your water jug, your strength here, you're gonna find an empty wall. Coming down into a wall set, moving on down. Feet are about hip width apart, flat on the floor. Shoulders are back, belly button is pulled in tight. I'm gonna hold that jug in both hands. I'm gonna exhale and press out. Good, with each exhale, I'm gonna pull my belly button in nice and tight. And we're gonna stay here for those full 45 seconds. Excellent, ladies. You get the idea, keep going. After those 45 seconds, take that 15 second break again, and then we're gonna do core. Feet are gonna be hip width apart. You're gonna hold that jug in one hand. Other hand can be resting on the waist here. And we're just gonna lengthen out through the top of our head, dipping to the side, letting that water jug pulse down, and then lengthening up and engaging that core to come back just upright. Down. And up. Good. From the side, it's gonna look like this. Just letting that weight pull me down to the floor and then using my core to pull myself upright again. Excellent. Again, carrying on for your full 45 seconds. After that, you'll take your 15 second break and you'll repeat that round one more time. Starting with those toe taps for cardio. Yeah. Grabbing that water jug for your strength. Wall sit with a chest press. And then you've got your core holding that jug on the other side. Down and up. Excellent. So that's round one done. Okay, round two. You're gonna hold the water jug for your cardio. 
We're gonna bend those knees into a little bit of a squat here. And all you're gonna do is hold the jug slightly out from your chest. That's gonna make you engage the arms, keep the shoulder blades back, and engage that core the whole time. Your cardio is simple. It's a tap out for low intensity, nice and quick. Or, a little higher intensity, you're gonna take it right here. Yeah. So those knees are bent, and I'm just doing a squat jack. Out and in, out and in. But I'm holding that water jug the entire time. Again, you're here for that allotted time, whatever time it is that you've chosen. And you wanna get that heart rate up and you wanna get breathless during this time. Good, carrying on for your allotted time. Your strength, you're gonna hold that water jug in one arm. I'm gonna turn side on so you can see me. I've got a staggered stance here. One leg is bent, other leg out to the back right here. Engaging the bicep here and doing a tricep kickback. Feeling the back of that arm engage. Pull it up, kick it back. Good. Nice long line from my head all the way out to that back heel. Swing it up, swing it back. Excellent job. Your core here, you're coming down to the floor. Now, you've got an option. You can have this bottom leg bent. You're gonna come onto your elbow, top leg is extended, and we're gonna do a side plank hold. You're gonna lift those hips up, pushing up onto the elbow, engaging that side core. You've got your jug nearby. You're gonna lift it up and bring it down. Lift it up and bring it down. If you're really feeling up for it today, you can always take that knee underneath, extend the leg, crossing the legs over one another, and come up on both legs. So you've got both options there. Up and down. Up and down. Excellent job, ladies. So all you would do from here is repeat that round one more time. So you'd have the squat jacks holding the jug in front, right here. Yep, that's your cardio. Your strength, you're gonna stand on the other leg. Other arm is working here for those tricep kickbacks. And then your core, you're gonna come onto your other side, choosing your option, either knee down or that knee up, and lifting that jug overhead and back down again. And that would be round two, finished. Okay, ladies, we're coming into round three. So round three, for your cardio, you're gonna place that water jug on the floor. What you're doing with your legs is lunging back, nice and quick. Yep, so this is what it looks like. Lunge back. That's your low intensity. As you do this, you're gonna tap the jug with the opposite arm. Yep. If you want a little higher intensity, you're gonna take that into a little jump, and you're tapping right here, changing the legs as you go. Either way, I want you moving quick. I want you getting that heart rate up. And I want you starting to breathe heavy. That's it, right there, for your allotted time. Awesome, that's cardio. Your strength, you're gonna hold that water jug. Right here in both hands, nice and secure, make sure it's screwed on tight. <laughs> Hip width apart with the legs. We're gonna sit back in a squat, Swing it up to an overhead lift. Down and up. Let's take those legs a little bit wider. Down and up, squeeze the glutes. Down, up, squeeze the glutes. That's it, so we're swinging through, lifting up. Making sure we keep that chest lifted. Right there. Squeeze the glutes. That's your strength. Your core, you're gonna use this as a weight again. You're gonna come down, we're working core and glutes here. So laying down flat on the ground, taking that water jug right onto your pelvis. So lower abdominal region here, 
Feet are flat on the floor. Knees hip width apart. You're gonna engage the core, draw the belly button in. Now switch those glutes on and lift the hips up. And you're gonna pulse it here. Lift, squeeze, and squeeze, squeeze. So this is targeting the hamstrings, the glutes, and that core. That core is working hard. Good, and you're holding there for a lot of time. Take your 15 second break after that, and you're gonna get back into your cardio, weight on the ground, tapping and changing legs. And remember, you've always got the option to just tap back and reach. Excellent. Your strength, once again, squat, overhead lift, squat, overhead lift, and then back down for bridge with that weight on the belly for a hip bridge. Make sure that at the beginning of starting a workout like this, you warm the body up. Do some ankle circles, do some calf raises, do some side bends, maybe some hip circles. Get the body moving and you're all set and ready to go.